Hey guys, as for the win here, I want to thank you guys for the overwhelming support on the first video I did, reaching nearly 2,000 likes, and the reason why I'm making another video is because of all the comments you made. All these bugs will be from the comments, so thanks to you guys. I'm also not including the robot super high jump, I don't think it's a glitch, it's just a combination of jumping and the pad effect at the same time. From the date of recording this, I have read every single comment, so I haven't missed any, but if it's not included in this video, it's because... I couldn't get it to work or it just doesn't work on PC. And again, I will not include bugs in Rob Top levels, 144Hz bugs or bad hitboxes. Let's get straight on with the video. If you spam the spacebar on the title screen and then stop when you see levels, as you scroll through the levels, multiple copies of Stereo Madness will be in place of some other levels. This also works with other main levels by spamming escape and space. If you pause the game mid-jump and go back into the game, the first click you do won't register. If you spam the practice mode button and escape, sometimes the practice music will play in the main screen. In the dual ball game mode in the editor, if you start and stop the playtest button, one of the balls will appear to glide along the ground. If you pause after immediately starting a level and press the retry button, your cube will stay in place for a few seconds. This is because the first attempt is always lower back than the rest of them. If you place a start position inside a move trigger, after the first attempt the move trigger will be repeated. If you spam the right arrow key, mouse 1 and spacebar, sometimes you'll enter a level where you can't jump and after the first attempt the song will change and the rest of the level won't be rendered. If you press escape, your game will crash. In the options, if you quickly spam the how to play button, you can stack multiple copies of the how to play screen at once. The only way to get rid of this is by spamming escape. In very rare circumstances, if you spam space and escape, the level will be stuck at 0% and you'll hear the menu music. If the first object in a level is a dash orb and you're on attempt 1, if you quickly hold before the attempt happens, your icons will remain white, just like the practice mode glitch. If you hold a dash orb while in ship and let go, your trail will no longer render. If you're on a moving jump pad, you'll be able to jump in mid-air. This also happens in deadlocked in the ball, and can happen in spider and ball game modes, causing you to die. In mini wave, you can clip through blocks using D-blocks. This can be used to verify impossible challenges. In two-player mode, if you enter a cube portal, it will act as a reverse portal. However, in the test mode, it will not act as a reverse portal. During the challenge, mid-jump, if you spam space and escape, your cube will spin around in mid-air. In ignore damage mode in the editor, placing any slopes backwards will cause the icon to teleport. If you land into a ship portal on a slope, you'll be stuck on that slope. This only works with this particular slope. If the song ends while you're still in the level, pausing and unpausing will start the song again. If you press space as soon as you press the view level button, it will soft lock the game while hearing the level music after alt tabbing. As you open the game, if you press the Facebook button and quickly tab back in, your menu music will go to full volume. This might only work if you press the icon on your taskbar. In windowed mode, if you enter a level, drag the screen to the side, die, put it back to normal, when you exit the level, it will cause the UI to glitch out slightly. If you enter a robot portal using a dash orb and go back to cube, your cube will appear slightly smaller than usual. This is only a visual bug and will not affect the hitbox. Shout out to Psychro for being the first person to discover this bug, I believe, with his video on YouTube. If you click on the challenge and then quickly press on the, on the door, the challenge will play with the dungeon music. This bug is pretty complicated, but if you spam space and escape as soon as you enter a level with a start position, your menu music will appear in different points of the song depending on how far you are in the level. Sometimes when updating a level you won't be able to upload it to the servers. The only way around this is to copy the level and upload it then. Again I also want to point out that I could not get a consistent way to do the invisible dual glitch I tried many times so I'm sorry about that but it does exist. Along with the menu music not playing I think it has something to do with the daily level but I'm not sure. I probably won't make a third video on this so thank you guys for watching and thank you for the support on the previous video. Hopefully this video can do just as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.